Hello and welcome, and this is Japan. This is going to be kind of a different video for me, but I wanted, I've been getting really back into wrestling. We've been showing, you know, on the channel we have some a lot of wrestling videos, but I wanted to do a Money in the Bank prediction because I've been watching it pretty, pretty regularly since um, Elimination Chamber this last year. So it's not, not the greatest, but enough that I feel like I, I have some, some ideas and some predictions for Money in the Bank. So, um, in no particular order, we're just gonna, I think this is gonna probably be, like, main event to back. Let me, let me see. Let me, let me get the list. Okay, let's just, no, we'll, we'll just go from what I feel like, uh, is, I don't know, probably the opening match. The Women's Tag Team Championship match. Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler, and against Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez. This match was so hastily put together that I feel like there's no way that Rousey and Baszler lose. Um, I don't particularly like the tag team. I feel like Shayna definitely could use somebody different as a, you know, as a person. It, it, Ronda Rousey's fine. I, I feel like she's definitely more of like a technical fighter. I mean, obviously it makes sense with her background, but I feel like it just doesn't always translate well with the whole, you know, on the mic thing. Um, I don't see them losing so fast after they, they just won the titles. I think this is like a, a, a two-parter. This will definitely be like a um, SummerSlam rematch type thing. And then maybe Liv and Raquel. Now, I'm, I'm definitely going Ronda and Shayna. I want Liv and Raquel to win. But I feel like I'm going to go with the, the safe bet there and, and, and vote Ronda and Shayna. Uh, next up, the Intercontinental title, Gunter versus Matt Riddle. I just, I feel like they're going to let Gunter get to that, like, the record for the Intercontinental title reign, which is what, the Honky Tonk Man? I just feel like that would be a good idea. The only way I would say maybe you leave Gunter out is that you would, if, if you take the Intercontinental title off of him, you could possibly get it to maybe him and Ludwig and, like, Imperium going against Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens for the titles. That could possibly be a thing, but I do feel that Gunther will retain. Um, it's I feel like they just haven't had a build up enough. You know, it's another one where I think like they're gonna be going back and forth, and we might see something different at SummerSlam. But I don't know if if you'd break the record by then. If not, I I just have a feeling they'll hold it. They'll just keep holding that. Uh, next up, one of the most wild matches: Cody Rhodes versus Dominic Mysterio. Um, I really don't see a world that Cody loses this match. The only way is if, uh, one, Brock Lesnar comes in and does something, or Rhea Ripley. Um, even then, I just feel like you don't put Cody down that hard if you're trying to, like, make him such a, such a hero and stuff. But, um, we could, we could see him lose, but I still feel like Cody Rhodes is going to win. Um, yeah, if they, it would be only a different outcome if it's a you know Brock Lesnar coming out there and, and saving Dominic um which I could see or at least he's still getting jumped afterwards so they could have a Brock Lesnar Cody Rhodes for SummerSlam I think that's what they're going to do with that at least um next up we got the World Heavyweight Championship it will be Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor with not too many spoilers for who I think will win Money in the Bank I do believe Seth Rollins will retain here. I feel like there, he's been great championship, and I feel like he's gonna he's gonna hold it and um, win this one, and um, possibly lose it at SummerSlam to Finn uh, to set up maybe something else, depending on what the briefcase you know goes. You never know. But speaking of briefcase, we'll go to the women's briefcase, Money in the Bank. You know. This one, I feel like, could go anyways. I definitely think Trish Stratus not going to happen. Zoe Stark, I don't believe, you know, I think those are the two with the least likely chance. Uh, Bailey and, and Io could definitely have a chance here. I do feel like they're going to have a moment where they have to fight each other, and that's going to put a lot more attention on that group to set up a rivalry between the two. But I don't feel like it's going to be like like a championship rivalry. Um, Zelina Vega would be a pretty good, you know, holder for that, for that, um, you know, for the, uh, briefcase, but I just don't see her, you know, winning it. I feel like, uh, it just, it, I don't think she'd go into much of a rivalry with either person to snag the, uh, to snag the belt. 
So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Becky being the best choice because Becky cashing in on Rhea would be pretty fun. Um, you know, even if it's Charlotte or Ashka, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be that you'd go after Rhea. I could see that, and then maybe having a storyline with the Judgment Day. You know, taking on you know Seth and, and Becky together. That could be a cool mixed tag thing. I think they they have a lot of story that they could do by doing this. So I'm gonna go with with um Becky Lynch. Um but if if they do want to do something else, EO I think would be the best choice. I don't think Becky needs it. I, I really don't think she does. Now the men's title or the men's money in the bank. Uh it's Ricochet, Shinsuke Nakamura versus LA Knight, um Santos Escobar, Butch, Damian Priest, and Logan Paul. Now easily we can we can throw Butch out. I don't know why he's here. I guess they're just setting up something. I feel like just putting Sheamus in there would have been a better thing, but uh, you know that that's not, that's some other decision, I guess. Um, Ricochet, I feel like would be the the best person to win it. Don't think he's going to. I just don't think it fits what they're trying to go with. Um, Shinsuke Nakamura again. I think he'd obviously be a great champion, but I think he's just a little bit past what they're looking at. LA Knight would be this kind of a smart choice with how much like you know power and 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 everybody just absolutely just loving on him right now. Uh, he would be the best choice, but I feel like he's gonna like go into a rivalry with Logan Paul because of this stuff. Logan Paul also would be a pretty interesting choice because like he'd bring that briefcase everywhere, and it would be just it would bring a lot of attention to it. So I think it wouldn't be the worst, and him cashing in on Seth Rollins would be pretty cool. Um, because, like, you know, they already had a rivalry at WrestleMania. Uh, Santos Escobar, I feel like, is kind of just in here to get, you know, just kind of get over a little bit more, but I just couldn't see him winning it. Um, I just, I don't know, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what they would do with that. And then Damian Priest, I think, is going to be the choice, because I feel like you give him the money in the bank, and then you get Finn the World Heavyweight title at SummerSlam, and then you have that whole deceit of just, is he going to cash in on me? You know, and that would put a lot of tension in the Judgment Day. And I think that would be a pretty cool thing. Um, you know, possibly with getting, like, JD in there to, uh, you know, protect Finn. And, and then actually maybe turning on him to, like, they could do a lot of stuff with it. I think that would be the best storyline uh, person. And I think Damian Priest deserves it. He's had a, a phenomenal year. So I feel like. It would be a good choice. I think it would be a very good choice. So I'm going to go Damian Priest. Um, next up would probably be like Logan, uh, LA Knight. I think LA Knight would be the second choice that I have. Um, the one that I saw that's not on this card sheet, but I'm pretty sure is a match, right, is uh, Ashka versus Charlotte Flair. I love Ashka. She's my favorite. Um, she's going to get hosed. I'm just plain and simple. She's losing the title. It, it sucks, but I have a feeling they are absolutely going to let her fall on her sword and give up the title to Charlotte so they can put Charlotte versus Bianca at SummerSlam and for the foreseeable future. I feel like that was the decision that they were already going to do based off of, like, um, right after WrestleMania. But I think with Charlotte needing some time, they put the belt on Ashka for some reason. I think that they thought Charlotte was going to be gone for longer, and that never really panned out. So I think it, they're just going to skip over and go right into Bianca and Charlotte. Um I could be surprised, but I really think they're just going to hose her, unfortunately. Uh, she's my favorite, and I'm going to be really upset because I, I don't really like Charlotte that much. Um, but what can what can you say, I guess, right? And then last but certainly not least, the bloodline story of Roman and Solo versus the Usos. I feel like everything's going the Usos' way right now, so I feel like this is going to be a Roman and Solo win. Um, definitely Roman's not going to get pinned. That's the one thing I can guarantee you, no matter what, is not, he is not going to get pinned by either Uso. Um, they could possibly have Solo finally then turn on Roman. Um, you know, possibly? That, that could be a, an interesting, um, a very interesting way of, of doing it. But I, I still think that they win this, and this is a long, drawn-out, almost-to-WrestleMania type of thing. I feel like the story with the Bloodline is great, but the problem is you also have the story with Cody Rhodes 
and I feel like it's just kind of messy when it comes to the top of the card with that type of stuff. But overall, I think uh, this will be a pretty fun um, pay-per-view, and I'm going to try to get this video up right before it, and hopefully you guys can put in the comments what you think is going to happen. Uh, other surprises, I, I honestly don't know if there's going to be anything too crazy. I think Money in the Bank is always such a solid pay-per-view that or premium live event that there's not like anything you crazy you have to do like surprise entrance and stuff. Um, a lot of people have been thinking Drew McIntyre will come and turn heel and attack somebody at the ladder match to set off a rivalry. If that's the case, I would love to see Shinsuke Nakamura in there. But I feel like Shinsuke Nakamura and Ricochet will some at some point get messed up by Bronson Reed during that event. Um, if not, they're just going to keep that as a freeway rivalry. And I, I've enjoyed it. I think that they all have different styles of fighting, so it's kind of cool. Um but I think like this is going to be like a good starting off point, especially that ladder match. I feel like everybody's going to get something out of it, except for maybe Butch. I, I mean, he, he's got a good push here, but I just I don't see him doing anything. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if uh, you know you don't see anything. I'm surprised the U.S. title's not up for grabs. I, I don't know if they if it is. I'm pretty sure this is the official card that I'm looking at. Um, they didn't have the Ashka and Charlotte, so I could be wrong about that too. But if I miss something, or if you guys have any other ideas or like um, thoughts on it, put it in the comments. Let's let's talk it out. Um, Money in the Bank is technically uh, tomorrow as I'm recording this. It will be on Saturday, and we'll we'll see how close I was to being right. But until next time, this is Japan. Bye, guys.